Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily and this is our biggest Lego haul yet. I am so excited to show you everything that we got on August 1st and actually some of the stuff we got before August 1st because luckily somehow we were able to find so many of these new sets in our local Targets and Walmarts and that never happens. So that was pretty cool. You'll actually notice some of these sets I've already built. But anyways, I think we can all agree that there were so many new sets that came out August 1st. It was almost overwhelming, right? We had a whole new wave from Marvel, the Creator 3-in-1 set, Star Wars, Wars, so many new Star Wars sets and the gunship included in that. And then of course Lego Super Mario as well as that sailboat promo which we were able to snag two of actually which is very cool. It's probably my favorite gift with purchase so far by the way. But anyways before we dive in and I show you everything that we got in this Lego haul make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free and also we're almost at 15,000 subscribers which is insane. So please help us out, hit that subscribe button. All right, so we're gonna start with Marvel and this first thing I'm gonna show you is older and so I'm just not gonna spend that much time on it, honestly, but I found it at Costco and it was a really good deal. Anyways, we got these three mechs. We got Captain America, Miles Morales, Spider-Man, as well as Thor. And I thought the mechs were kind of cool. It was 23 bucks and I think it's $10 each normally. So we saved like $7 on it. Moving on. Next up, we've got this Tony Stark Sakarian Iron Man mech, and I think it looks pretty cool. Also, there's a car version of it, so you can build it two different ways, and I just love the colors in it. It looks like there's a lot of stickers though, so like not too into that, but it just looked like a really fun build, and I am excited for What If. I still don't really know what to expect, honestly, but I'm excited for it, so I thought the mech would be really fun to get. So I really do wish that there was more Marvel sets that I could show you that I got. I really tried to find a bro Thor set and I just, I couldn't. I just love fat Thor. Like, I just think that's so funny, that minifigure. I couldn't find it anywhere. So maybe that'll be in a future haul at some point, but not today. So I guess now let's move on to Lego Super Mario. And I'll be completely honest with you guys, I've already built most of these Lego Super Mario sets, but I still have the boxes because I'm just that kind of person. I'm a box hoarder. Anyways, we of course got the Luigi starter course and it's actually so much fun to play with Luigi and Mario Like they kind of talk with each other. It's actually really cool Like I've had a lot of fun with it so far So that's really the main reason I wanted the starter course was to have Luigi But also pink Yoshi here is just so adorable really the whole Lego Super Mario line I love the characters like that's really the main draw for me to the line I'm not gonna have a full-on course set up in my house from all of these things, you know Like we just don't really have that space for it. It's not a priority but the characters definitely are a priority. So that's why we bought all of these. And I'm not gonna lie, the game is kind of fun to play. Next up is the Boss Sumo Bro Topple Tower. And this is actually a really fun build. I already built it. There's nothing in here. But look at this guy up here. He is so cute. Again, the characters are why I wanted this. And it also came with a Krober, which is kind of fun. Next up is Lakitu Skyworld. And I actually remember Lakitu most vividly from Mario Kart. Cause he's a character that kind of like picks you up after you fall off the course. So, yeah, I know him very well. It also came with a bullet bill and fuzzy. Next up is the Resnor Knockdown. And really, I wanted this set because it looks like a Ferris wheel. And I thought that was really cool, like to have a little Mario world in my Lego City. So it's already built. It's in the Lego City room. So far, I do really like the set. And it also comes with little like rhino things. What are those called? Are those the Resnors? Yeah, those are the Resnors. So yeah, if you are into Lego City content, like at all, make sure to subscribe down below because I'm going to be working on like a Lego Super Mario thing in my Lego City and also just working on the Lego City in general. So like, subscribe. Ooh, and then we have Bowser's airship. This is my favorite set from the Lego Super Mario line. Like it is so cool. So many details. I just, I just love the ship. I think it's really fun. It's kind of cartoonish. It's classic from the games. And I really do wish that more of the Lego Super Mario sets were kind of like standalone sets like this rather than play sets. Cause I love having this displayed behind me. I did already build this one. It's up there on my shelf, but yeah, this set was so worth the $100. And I hope if they do continue with the Lego Super Mario line that they make more sets kind of like this, you know, just standalone sets. It doesn't seem like the rest of the Lego Super Mario line, you know, like I think this is just so cool. Okay, so there's two more things from the Lego Super Mario line that are, they're cute, but they're small, you know? So first we have the Lego Super Mario Frog, and I love this power-up pack. It just looks really cute. We haven't actually built this one yet, or the one I'm about to show you. But I was just really excited to dress Mario up like a frog. I don't know, I just think that's really fun. And then of course we also got Bee Mario to kind of dress him up like a bee as well. I just, I just thought it was cute, honestly. All right, so I'm looking at the rest of my Lego pile over here, and I think I'm gonna save Star Wars for last but I'm gonna do like a 180 from Star Wars next and we're gonna switch gears over to Disney Princess. So this is a brand new Beauty and the Beast castle and there's actually a set very similar to this out on the shelves right now but it's four plus and it just 
it didn't really catch my eye as much. I really liked it, but for $40, I was like, there's other things I'd rather buy, you know? But then this one came out and I think it was 80, so oops. But I just think it's so cute. Like I love the color of the castle. There's so many fun details on here. And also it comes with Belle both as like Princess Belle, but also as Peasant Belle. And I think that's really cool. So yeah, this set's also definitely going into my Lego city in my Lego Disney World area. I'll have like a Beauty and the Beast kind of area because this is 100% my favorite Disney movie. I love Beauty and the Beast. Belle is my favorite princess. So it's really cool finally having her in Lego form. I would definitely prefer mini figures of her. They just, they just feel more collectible to me. But mini dolls are so cute in this set so like I cannot complain and then I of course also had to get the newest Disney princess book this is called oh gosh this is long Ariel Bell Cinderella and Tiana's storybook adventures now this is just a really cute set I have all of the other books that are very similar to this and really the main reason I want this is because of those little printed pieces on the front I put those into my Disney world as like a display like princess area kind of thing I don't know it looks really cool so I really like that printed piece also the books look kind of cool on my bookshelf I have all of them behind me up there and I just I love them so much all right so for this next set if you've been following my channel over the last like six months or so you'll know how obsessed I am with the Lego roses the Lego flowers and I actually have all the roses back there there's 12 in there I actually finally accumulated a dozen Yay! And I also have two of the flower bouquets kind of combined into one giant bouquet downstairs. It's like the only Lego set we allowed outside of our like Lego area upstairs. And so obviously I could not pass up getting the Birds of Paradise. This is just, it's such a classy set, right? Like it looks so cool. I cannot wait to build it, see this in person. This will also probably go downstairs as well. And it also includes a Lego vase down there, which is really cool. I know that was a pretty big complaint with the original flower bouquet. It didn't come with a vase and I mean, I was okay with that. I just put it into one of the vases that I have here at my house, but it's kind of cool that they did include one for this one. So yeah, anyways, that being said, definitely expect this on a build stream soon because I cannot wait to build this. I think it'll be really fun. Okay, so this next one is a creator three-in-one set and I actually have it kind of displayed behind me, the little Ferris wheel, and it is so cute. I loved building this. I actually did this on a build stream with Boone from Boone Build slash like from Lego Master Season 1 and it was so much fun just getting to know him. And also just the set is such a fun build. It's Literally, it's fun. Boo! But seriously, as soon as I saw the official photos of this, and I knew that it was coming, I had to get this. And I actually ordered it from Europe back a few months ago. It came out June 1st for Europe, and I just like shipped it over here because I could not wait to get my hands on this. It is just so cool, it's so colorful, and I'm definitely gonna be adding it to my Lego City. We currently have the Creator Expert Ferris wheel in our Lego City, and I do love that set. I think it's really cool. It's currently motorized, which, you know, is always fun. And we currently don't have any plans to remove it from our Lego City, but I think this this one's definitely gonna join it in there at some point because it's just so cute. It's such a cute set. All right, so there's only one more set before we get to Star Wars and it's the new Lego Ideas Sailboat Promo, which is incredible. This set, I cannot talk highly enough about it. It was so much fun and I have never built anything like this before. The build technique for the sail was just, it was really fun, it was cool, it was different. Like, I don't know, I just never built a set like this. It was really exciting. And I firmly believe like this is the best gift with purchase we've ever gotten from Lego, or at least like as long as I've been into Lego. So that's like the past two years or so. It looks great on display. And also it was just really fun to build. So it's a perfect promo. It is kind of unfortunate though that you have to hit the $200 mark to qualify for it. But I definitely love this set and we actually got two of them. So, you know, we are, we're pretty happy. Okay, so we are finally moving on to Star Wars and I am, I'm so excited. This was so much fun to find. We found most of them early, which was really cool. Again, that like never happens. So this was fun. It's fun. Boo. Anyways, this first set is the Imperial Armored Marauder. And initially when I saw this, I was like, it's a big gray brick. I what's so cool about it. But my husband actually built this one and he loved it. Like there's all these cool play features in it and it's a lot better in person. Like literally it looks like a gray brick to me. It doesn't look that exciting, but in person it's so much cooler. It's so much more fun than I expected. Next up is the Mandalorian Starfighter. And this was also a really, really cool set. I built this one while my husband built the other one that I just showed you, but it was really fun to build. I really did enjoy it. But I think by far the best part of the set was the minifigures. We get Gar Saxon, Bo-Katan, which I'll tell you a little story about Katana in a second and then a Mandalorian loyalist so that's cool so yeah story time for those of y'all who are new here my husband loves fish he has a fish tank downstairs and he has an angelfish in there and when he got the angelfish he was like hey what should I call the angelfish and I was like I don't know we just saw Mandalorian 
Bo-Katan. And he was like, okay. So yeah, now we have an angel fish named Bo-Katan. So it's kind of cool having a minifig version. It's cool having a fish named Bo-Katan. I don't know. Just little, little story time thrown in. I know it wasn't a great story, but I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> okay, so now this next set is my favorite out of this whole Star Wars wave, kind of minus the UCS set, because let's be real, the gunship is incredible. But it's the Bad Batch shuttle, and I loved this set. I built it on a live stream, and I had a blast. Like, it's such a cool set. I love the blue color in it. The sand blue is incredible. I could definitely do without the two speeders in it, but the minifigs are all just really cool. I really do like them. And also the TV show is so much fun. I'm one of those people that when I see something in a movie or TV show that I have a Lego set of, I like kind of freak out a little bit. I'm like, I have a Lego set of that. That's so fun. So yeah, I don't know if that's like a weird thing or if other people do that, or if that's, I guess probably literally the point of toys is like to sell stuff about the movies. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? But anyways, after I finish filming this right now, I'm gonna go watch Bad Batch. So yeah, very much a fan of the TV show. Love this set, super cool. All right, and this one I could not pass up either. This is the Imperial Light Cruiser. And I'm pretty sure my husband's gonna build this one. He really wants to build this. He has not, he hasn't let me build this yet. So we'll see who gets to build it in the end. We might have to like fight over that. But I'm really looking forward to seeing this set in person because this whole front of it lifts up, which is kind of cool. Like that usually doesn't happen. And it also uh, has a handle. If you were watching LegoCon, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, another big reason why we wanted this set was because it came with Finnick Shan, which is very cool. Very excited for Book of Boba Fett coming out soon and Moff Gideon. All right, finally, the last set here and the one set that we were actually a little bit nervous about whether or not we were even going to be able to get it on August 1st is the UCS gunship. And this is an amazing set. We've already built some of it back there on the shelf. We haven't finished it yet, so we still need to finish it. It's just a huge set. But really, I have no complaints about the set itself. I am so excited to see it finished. I am a bit disappointed in the minifigures though. I feel like they could have done so much better with that and like there's only two, whereas like in the Daily Bugle, right? This like huge masterpiece from the Lego Marvel team. There's 25 minifigs in there. I think it's 25, 26. There's around 25 minifigs in it. I would have loved to see that happen in the gunship. Obviously, I didn't expect for that to happen, but it doesn't mean I wouldn't like for it to happen. But also side note, I do need to keep this box pretty much forever now because of this logo on here. It's, um. Yeah, this is kind of a collector's item at this point. All right, so now you're probably understanding why I said it. This is the biggest Lego haul that we've ever done because this was a massive amount of Lego sets. We have never had a Lego haul this big before. So this was very overwhelming, but totally worth it. And also I cannot wait to build all of these soon. I have already built a good chunk of them either on live streams or with my husband, and it's been so much fun. Again, definitely expect some more build streams coming soon because I have a bunch of Lego here to build and I like streaming. So yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. Also, so make sure to leave me a comment down below and tell me what set you want to see from all of this here next on the build stream and I can try to make that happen. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel down below. Again, we are so close to 15k. Let's make that happen. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time.